together And everything between us is good I'm right in this cloud, baby Ready to fly, but before I take another step Would you catch me? Hey, Corner Squad, this your girl, she Corner, coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. As you can hear, that's Araya. She's right here. Um, I done fed her. JJ, he had something to eat, so now it's my turn to eat. I got me some collard greens, cornbread, with some okra to it. I don't know what kind of meat this is my mama got in collard green, but it's collard green, cornbread, and some okra, y'all. Yes, y'all. And I already said my blessing before I got on camera. So, let's just get started. And I got me some lemonade. Okay. Ooh, lordy. So how y'all doing today, y'all? I went live earlier, but people kept coming in and out of my live. So, I didn't stay on too long like I normally do. But, uh, yeah, y'all. I'm just mixing my cornbread in with my collard green. Tell me what y'all eating with me today. I'm going to add a little hot sauce to it for just a little flavor. I don't add a whole lot. I just add a little bit for some flavor. Yeah, just add a little bit for some flavor. I also put hot sauce on my plain potato chips. Who, who, who else do that besides me? Okay. How many more control? You want to buy some else? Huh? I mean no. Mama! Look at my phone. I don't get that. Okay. Oh, did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Oh, come pick this up right here on the floor. Araya, what is you doing? She done made a mess, y'all. Come that way. Yeah, she done made a mess. Mm hmm. Yeah, you done made a mess, sister girl. Yeah, you yeah you done left me a mess to clean up. Yeah, you done left a mess for me to clean up, sister girl. I'm trying to eat my food and enjoy it. But anyway, what y'all been what y'all eating with me right now? And if you're not eating right now, what have you had for dinner? Salt. Mom don't cook with a lot of salt because she got high blood pressure. So yeah, have to add more salt to your food if you want more salt. Which is fine with me.
But anyway, I want to talk about this Monique situation, y'all. Look, I am on Monique's side. Um, with this Netflix situation. Um, a lot of people are giving her a hard time. I don't think it's right that people should give her a hard time. This woman knows her worth. She knows her value. And it's not right that they don't pay her what she she's asking for. I don't I I I don't think she was being unreasonable. I don't think she was being difficult. I don't think she was being a diva. She was just speaking the absolute truth. And there are some people on her side. So, you know. And then this thing about Lee Daniels and her being on Empire. She proved that they wanted her to be on Empire. And then the movie Precious. My thing is, okay, the movie Precious. Okay. This is my take on it. If you're supposed to be promoting a movie, okay. If they put in your contract and you want to be promoting a the movie, they need to, they, 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 I'm sorry for stealing. If they want to promote the movie, they tell you exactly everything you need to do to promote the movie. They want you to go overseas. They will put that in your contract, okay? So my thing is, if they wanted her to go overseas and promote this movie, and she and she did, she was in breach of contract, and they would have sued her. They didn't sue her because she was not in breach of contract. They trying they they have tried to tarnish Monique. They have blackballed Monique. It's not fair. And it's not right. But they do Monique like this. I don't know what the purpose of them trying to discredit her because it's not fair and it's not right that they treat this sister like that. You know, she won the Oscar and her life went the hell after that. You know, and she is one of the, the the most decorated comedians out here that's still living. She she's one of the ones that's a decorated comedian, along with uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Sinbad, um, Mike Epps, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, Cat Williams, Kevin Hart. All on um, are legends in my book. Because they are doing their thing. So. I just think she's not getting the respect that she deserves. And it's not right and it's not fair. That she don't get the respect that she deserves. And she's been mad with Oprah Winfrey since Oprah had her mother, father, and pedophile brother on the show. You know, I don't think Oprah should have done that. Even Baba Wattles sat there and said that he wanted to be paid to come on 
the view and, and, and whatever else to do an interview. And my boss said, no, out of respect for Monique, no, and it's not right that you get paid to tell your story. Because me, to be honest with you, he should have been in prison for the way he did to Monique. But now, her mother and father never had him locked up. These color greens are so good, y'all. Oh my god. I'm already getting full. Shit, I shouldn't have dropped my lemonade, but I did. You sleepy, baby? Hold on, I'm gonna get you. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to tick y'all, but I got to finish this. I'm almost done. See? I got a little bit more left in my plate. Got the burp though. <laughs> excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I need to make room. So I want to talk about Trump, well, not Trump, Agent Orange, talking about he want to give the, the, the teachers guns in the school. No, bad idea. It's a bad idea because you it's a bad idea because you have these teachers that are trigger happy and don't mind shooting a nigga or a uh, or or a Spanish person, a person that's not white. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you feel like your life in danger as a teacher, you need to go get some help. Okay, go go get the teacher. Go go get the principal. I'm quite sure it's a it's a police officer walking up down the hallway. Go call them, but the, but but for them to carry a gun, no, I don't think teachers should carry guns in schools because it could turn into something deadly. And it's gonna be a total mess. Wait a minute, baby. Come on, sugar. She got stuck. She got stuck. Come on. Come on. Did they come pick your box up? Over here. Come on, baby. Come on, sugar. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Hold on, y'all. Got to pick the baby up. Okay, but anyway, I don't I just don't think teachers should be allowed 
to carry guns or have guns in the classroom. It just should not never happen. Um, a couple years, uh, uh, years ago here in Georgia, a teacher had a gun. A student got smart at the mouth with the teacher. And uh, the student never got up out of his desk or out of his seat. And I guess the teacher felt like, you know, whatever. So she just pulled the gun out and shot the student. Uh, excuse me, right there in front of the other. Right there in front of the other. Right there in front of the other. The other students. And needless to say, that teacher went to prison for shooting that student. That's the reason why I say. Teachers should not be allowed to do that. So that's that's my opinion on it. As you can see, I finished my collard greens. I'm full. I need to go to sleep now, but I'm going to have to watch the babies. If you made it to the end of my video, y'all, put collard greens in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell twice to be notified of any videos that, that I may do. Until next time, like I always say, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails or if you're growing your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you just learning how to use it. And y'all please do like because I'm going to give you one. Bye.